Hello guys and welcome. In today's video we will talk about adapting a cat or kitten. There are so many benefits to adapting a cat, namely that you are giving a pet second chance at a fulfilled family life. If you are wondering how to adapt a cat and what to expect during this process, watch this video. You decided to give a cat from a shelter a forever home, it's a fantastic thing to do. There are so many pets around the world that have been abandoned abused or simply had owners that were no longer able to take care of them. All of these animals are looking for a second chance at a loving home. Whether you are looking to adapt kitten or adult cat with a fully formed unique personality, there are many things to consider before bringing your new family member home. Find out how to adapt a cat and what you will need for your new arrival with this video guide. So, how to adapt a cat? When considering how to adapt a cat, the first thing you need to do is locate a suitable shelter or some charity with an established reputation. You can easily find plenty of this by searching for your local centers online. So once when you locate one, most have online directories of the cats they currently have up for adoption. Or you can speak to the staff at the center for advice on the kind of cat which will suit you. One thing to be aware of is the most adoption centers will arrange a home visit before you officially adopt a cat to make sure that it's suitable environment. If you have other pets or family members, they may also want them to come along for the initial visit to ensure you all get along. So how to find the perfect cat? One of the most important things when adapting a cat is to make sure that they have the right personality to fit in with your existing family. Shelters will be able to provide you with a detailed history of their resistance backgrounds as well as advising on which of their cats might suit your family best. Also think about cat breeds. Just like deciding whether to adapt cat or acquire a kitten, choosing what breed of cat is right for you is a really important consideration. Although personality traits vary between individual cats, you can learn a lot from breed type. Second thing is health consideration. Whether you are planning to adopt a kitten from a rescue center or choose one from a litter, it's very important to check that she is in good health. Firstly, kittens should not be separated from their mothers until they are fully weaned. This is usually around 9 weeks of age. Looking at the kitten straight on, she should have clean, clear eyes with no discharge, as this could indicate a respiratory problem. Also, her nose should be clear, cool, slightly damp and clear from mucus or signs of sneezing. Her ears should be clean and pink. Black specks and the dark brown, waxy discharge in the ear canal might indicate ear mites. Although mites are easily threatened, it could suggest that kittens are being poorly cared for. Next, take a wider look of the kitten. How does her tummy look? A swollen tummy could be caused by poor nutrition or worms. You should also check her behind for any evidence on the diarrhea. Her coat should be glossy with no signs of mating and her legs should be straight and well formed, allowing her to move around and jump with ease. Also check how she interacts with the other kittens and her mother. A healthy kitten should be alerted and inquisitive to her surroundings. Check for personality preferences. How would you like your cat to be? Adventury or shy? Do you prefer a lap cat or a ball of energy? Ask yourself which you would prefer and see if there are personality traits you can distinguish based on behavior. When you pick the cat up, does she cuddle into you or wriggle free to keep exploring? Adapting a cat considering all the costs. So probably you wonder, does it cost money to adapt a cat? The cost of adapting kitten or cat depends on the organization or cat rescue center you choose. Most shelters ask for an adoption fee to be paid before you take your pet home and the cost of this depends between organization. 
This fee covers the care and treatment your cat received during its time at the center, including initial veterinary costs such as neutraging, spaying and kitten vaccinations. However, you should consider the other costs as well in preparation for the arrival of your new pet. You will need to buy pet food and dishes, bed, litter box, litter and probably a cat carrier for transporting her home. You may also want to purchase some cat toys, although you can easily make your own. So preparing for the unexpected things is also important. So probably the biggest cost to take into consideration is veterinary bills. Certain bills are planned such as vaccinations, the warming and flea prevention. You may also want to microchip your kitten if she goes outside so she can be found and recognized if she gets lost. But it is unexpected wet bills which can prove most expensive. The cost of treatment or even a stay in the clinic following an accident or illness can run into thousands. Although a monthly cost cat insurance where available can help you cover unplanned veterinary bills and that's a very, very smart decision. An often forgotten cost when budgeting is the price of boarding if you go away on holiday. Perhaps you have friends or family able to care for your pet while you are away, but if not, it's another expense to consider. So what do I do if I find a stray cat? If you find a stray cat in your neighborhood, you should ask around to see if you can find its owner. Also try putting a poster or asking on social media. It's also a good idea to take them to the vet as soon as possible so they can check if they have a microchip. Cat Adoption Checklist The following cat adoption checklist features some of the things you should consider when adopting your felon friend. What is your home like? If you have a lot of safe outdoor space, then consider rehoming an outdoor cat. If you live in a flat, an indoor cat will be better used to living in a such a space. How busy is your lifestyle? If you are out of the house often, a cat that is known to be quite independent may be a happier fit for your lifestyle. Similarly, if you are short on time, choose a breed with less grooming requirements. Do you already have pets? Some cats get on well with other animals, whereas others prefer to be more solitary. If you already have other pets, make sure you're choosing a cat that will get on well with them. Do you have young children? Some cats may have had experiences in their lives that make them more shy or reclusive. If you have a family with young children, try to find a cat that will enjoy all the attention they are going to receive. Consider the bills. It's truly a wonderful thing to rehome a senior cat or a cat with a health condition. Shelters will always make you aware of any long-term ailments, but make sure that you can shoulder the cost of any ongoing veterinary treatment or any cat essentials before committing to take care of a cat.